Hi, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use T-Morph. It's a morphing program for WoW and it's really cool. You can change your race, gender, customize your characters, hair, skin color, uh, piercings, enchant animation, mount, and title. So yeah, you can do a lot. Um, I'm lagging a little bit, sorry. But uh, you're going to need 64-bit to run T-Morph. I'm going to put all the websites you need in the description on where to download it and all the other stuff I'm going to talk about later. Uh, they show you... They show you a lot of stuff on the website, but I'm going to show you some stuff I found on my own. First off, to change anything, you're going to want to type in the bar after T-Morph is working. It's injected uh, dot, and then whatever you want to do. So to change your race, I'm going to talk about first. Dot race, space, and then 1 to 11, 22 and 24 is Worgen and Panda. So let's just put 24, Pandaren. And you can change your gender just by typing dot gender. You type change your hair dot hair one two three four I don't know how many there are but changes so yeah I'm gonna go back to what I was dot gender dot race one and all these effects will just disappear when you relog or whatever if you enter a uh, arena game or BG you keep everything so that's why it's really cool to me um, let's talk about some stuff like all right to change your enchant animation uh, I got a, kind of a boring one. It's the Living Steel weapon chain. I wanna, I wanna change it to something cool, like let's say Executioner. Dun, dun, dun. And you're gonna wanna find the spell, not just the, not the item where you. I don't know why it's. All right, here it is. Sorry. So dig your way around and try to find the actual spell here it is down here uh... it's not up here the id right there but you're gonna wanna find the spell details and and the effect right here the this will be it three two two five so in game you're gonna wanna type dot enchant and i guess one is for your weapon i don't know what that is but you're gonna have to type dot enchant space one space and then type the thing what was it? I forgot by now. Uh, three, two, two, five, and boom! Look at that. It's really cool. You can change to mongoose or whatever. Just look it up. Next, we're gonna be talking about mounts. And on the website that I'm gonna link that it showed you uh, where to download it. Uh, they have the they have the list on there. So let's find to morph your mount. Here it is. To morph your mount and click on mount you can actually click on that right here to morph your mount and it's gonna have all the IDs and it's really cool you could put in the search bar the name of the mount like in Vince Vincible and just point at it or click on it and it'll have the display ID 31007 so dot mount 31107 was it yeah so just hop on your mount um, oh shit! Pop the wrong mount code. Uh, three one zero zero seven. Okay, dot mount three one zero zero seven. So just hop on your mount. That's invincible. Then your flying mount. You can also make macros for mounts for like your flying and ground. It's really cool. So that that's how you change your mount. I don't really like to change my mount, but if you want to, it's there. It is. Um, change your title. You can also change your title. Go back to the website. It also gives you the code to change the title. It says to morph your title. Click on the title, and it has all the IDs for titles. Like if I want to be uh, Deadly Gladiator, you want to type dot title. What was it? Why do I keep forgetting? Um, o Five six, dun, dun, dun. there it is. My title changed. Deadly Gladiator. Um, next, I'm gonna talk about morphing. Uh, I had trouble finding morphs, morph codes for a long time. Nobody really wrote them down anywhere, but I figured out. I eventually googled my way to figure out how to find it by yourself. So this is how you. Well, first off, let me tell you, you can morph into, like, any mob in the game, basically. Like, let's say you want to be a Raikul, 
I found the code three one. You do want to type dot morph space three one one eight two. Uh, here's some another cool one. Three five two five three. That's pretty cool. And you can change the Elden Lich King whatever. We'll teach you how to. All right. So let's say you like. Uh, say you like the kill does lock it but it's not really a mob is it well actually it is you're gonna want to type kill thought and then there's actually a mob spirit of kill and it looks exactly like her so you're gonna want to find that so you find whatever you find whatever um, mob you want to change to and when you're on the page you want to click control F oh well that's my bad you want to first hit control U so it gives you this and then control F to find uh, you're going to type display and maybe the display ID is not the first one it shows you but you're just gonna have to go down more uh, display ID 29849 29849 29849 and now look I look like the Kelta locket thing so that's pretty cool just change back and you could just relog to reset everything. Let's say you want Lich King. Lich King. Dun, 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 dun. There's a lot of the Lich King. Oh my god, really? NPCs. Alright, here it is. You'd think it's right here, but it's not. I don't know why not. But, alright, control U. Control F display uh, display ID right here and you go up and down if it's not the first one but usually it is so 30721 dot more 30721 that's kind of a bigger version I mean I could tell you a smaller version I think hold on did I write one down yeah here's a better one dot more Two 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 three four, and that's actually a decent size one. You could also I found one without the helmet. Two 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 three five. So yeah, that actually looks pretty sick. He's actually decent size, like regular size. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, dot race one. Change back. Next and final thing I want to talk about is item items changing your items your weapon whatever first off I want to tell you the item codes would be for you to type in here I found this website where it says the inventory slot ID so basically like on the website what does it say on the website oh, it doesn't say a lot item one alright Inventory slot ID. It shows you every slot ID. One is for head, two for neck, doesn't matter. Shoulder, sh shirt, chest. You have your even your tabard, your main hand, off hand. Alright, um. The best thing to do is make a macro. So, alright. First off, let me just. Alright, hold on. If you want to change item, you type dot item, space, and then one for helm, and then you find the code code's really easy to find it's actually it's actually the code in wowhead at the top right for the item like ashbringer corrupted ashbringer we could even do ashbringer I don't care um, here's the code 13262 I'm gonna copy it control C and uh, for the main hand if you look down there if you looked at the list main hand is 16 so dot item 16 and then, and then boom and you can do that for every item slot and the best thing to do is make macros um, oh crap and I made a lot of macros and sets like sets that I like like dot item one for helm and you just have to make your own I mean you can find some but I mean it's not that hard it just takes a little time just find the ID, match it, and just make the macro. 
So let's do some pre macros I made, like this one. Um, click on it. This is the DK challenge mode set. Uh, this one is the Pally challenge set, and I put a weapon on it too. You could change your tabard. I changed my tabard. And yeah, just something you really like. You can change your race now. Whatever. Blood off now. So yeah, it's really cool. How do you change your items and stuff? So I hope this guide helped. Uh, I'm gonna put all the websites that you're gonna need in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Uh, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe, thumbs up, please. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be.